In this video, we'll show you how a VHS video recorder works. This video is based on a Panasonic VCR. Firstly, we'll show you the basic layout of the VCR. The VCR comprises a few sections. The mechanical section is made up of the video drum assembly, the audio head, the pressure roller, the tape guides, and the bulk erase head. The bulk erase head is only used when the VCR is in record mode. This head erases the tape prior to the heads recording the video and the audio signals. The video drum contains the video heads. These are the little black heads protruding from the side of the drum. They are located 180 degrees from each other on the circumference of the drum. They are switched on and off in rapid succession and read the picture information. Other sections include the tuner and power supply. Be careful around here, there are lots of dangerous voltages here and you could get a shock. The signals recorded onto the tape look something like this. Recorded along the top of the tape is the audio signals. Along the bottom of the tape is the sync or synchronizing signal. And between the two are the diagonal lines, which is the video signal recorded by the video head. The signals are all combined to look like this. Now we'll show you the basic mechanical operation. When the cassette is inserted into the deck, the loading motor and the mechanism load the cassette into the machine. When it is in the loaded position, the tape guides extract the tape from the cassette and lace it into the tape path. The video drum starts spinning at 1500 RPM. When the play button is pressed, pressure is applied to the tape via the pressure roller and capstan. This controls the tape speed and maintains a constant speed regardless of the diameter of the take up or supply reel. The speed of the take up and supply reels is regulated by clutches. Back tension is applied to the tape via the back tension brake. This ensures the tape sits firmly against the video drum. The video signal is picked up off the video head and transferred from the video drum. The signal is then fed into the video circuitry via the video head amplifier. Audio signals are picked up by the audio head and processed via the audio circuits. The audio head is also responsible for picking up the sync signal. The sync signal is used to time the video head switching and maintain a stable image output. When the eject button is pressed, the tape guides return to their home position and the reels rewind the tape into the cassette housing. The loading motor then reverses and ejects the tape. And that is the basic operation of a VHS video recorder. Thanks for watching!